Hello YouTube, it's Austin with another Project 24 update. This update is going to be my one year anniversary since joining Project 24. Let's get started. All right, so here I am uh, with another Project 24 update. Um, I began Project 24 in September 7th of 2018. Um, this update is going to cover all the way through September, it should be September 6th, 2019. Uh, it might cover a few days more than that. It won't have a e huge impact on what you see on the screen. Uh, but let me just recap what Project 24 is. Project 24 is a course which consists of a 13 to 14 mini courses about content creation. You use the content creation for affiliate marketing, for um, uh, selling digital products, info products, things of that nature, and help basically the what, what project 24 does is it's designed to help you launch start begin your online business and so i joined it after watching a few youtube videos because they the course creators jim and ricky seemed very genuine very honest about um about how they make their money the steps that they need to follow in fact when i joined it it was centered or focused prim primarily around blogging and with that it took about 60 steps to get started um, with your with your course now they're probably the main reason why I joined project 24 um, quite honestly was I always got frustrated because there's so much content out on YouTube that will tell you you know this is these are the steps that you could get started but it always felt like that you were missing something there was always like a little bit like a, a little bit of a hesitation that they weren't telling you everything when you watch Jim and Ricky's YouTube channel income school it appeared or appears that they give you every bit of information that they know so that they can help you succeed. But then you you ask yourself, well, why did, why did you invest in the course? And quite honestly, the other features that I've gotten access to or privy to over the year have made it well worth it. Um, since joining the course, they've added a free theme, which you can see over at, at alstongodbolt.com. They have weekly blog, a weekly podcast now in which they talk about some things about being an online business owner and just being a business person in general. Uh, they've added a YouTube course. They've added a Pinterest course. They are continuously adding and updating things to help you become successful. And one of the things that you should always realize when you are taking these courses and you're investing yourself and you're launching a, an online business, your success is going to be determined on how much work you put into it. There's no magic pill. There's no magic bullet. You can't sign up for this course and then expect the money to start rolling in. That just doesn't happen. You invest in the course or you invest in a course and then you have to do the additional legwork, uh, follow the steps that, that they're laying out for you in order to find the success that you're looking for. So with that being said, uh, that's a brief overview of what Project 24 is and why I joined it back in um, September 7th of 2018. Uh, let's take a look at my first site. As you can see here on the screen, um, this is my first site, my largest site. It has about uh, somewhere between 95 and 100 blog posts. Um, in addition, there are about 40 YouTube videos. I have about 42 subscribers, um, and I'm only uploading one YouTube video per week. Uh, as you can see, the traffic, 7,938 page views. As you can see, the traffic is slowly starting to increase. Um, usually, uh, a blog a blog post will see its maximum amount of traffic with about in, in its first like nine months. It, it'll peak at, at about nine months, but Let's take a look, 7,938, 6,150 unique page views, average time on page one minute and 20 seconds, bounce rate of 69.93. One thing about that bounce rate is it has decreased dramatically since adding the new theme. Um, so let's take a look with this site. Um, as you can see, most of my traffic comes direct. Now, one thing that I noticed, and, and I noticed this a few weeks ago, um, the the Google Analytics and the Google Search Console don't match up with re with regard to uh, direct hits. So um, while it says direct, it could be a little bit different. Uh, that number could be skewed just a little bit either way. Um, and what you'll see with organic search, and I'll show you in the next page, Google Organic is very, very low on my list. It is, what, number eight? As far as traffic, I get very few hits from Google Organic. Most of my traffic comes from Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, and for, for via social media. Um, I have this plugin installed. I had it installed. It's called Blog to Social, where anytime you submit a new blog post or you update a blog post, it gets sent out to all of your social media networks. 
So that is why Facebook is up there because it gets sent out to my Facebook group um, or my Facebook page. I, I don't remember exactly which one. But as you can see, DuckDuckGo, uh, Quora has been successful for me as well. Um, I don't post as much on there uh, most recently. Um, LinkedIn is also another huge driver of traffic. So let's take a look at uh, where my traffic comes from. United States, United Kingdom, Canada, India. The top three are what you expect or what you want if you are looking to sell products online. Uh, the reason being, and, and this is no disrespect to the other countries on this list, um, most of the, the top three usually have... Um, the, the, the top three countries usually have the purchasing power to buy products and services, and they've also shown the willingness to solve their problems with buying their way through it. So if you are looking to make money online, you obviously want to target developed or first world countries because they have the purchasing power and they're looking and, and willing to buy the, the answer to their problems. And that really goes for any niche. Um, so some things that I could have done over the past year that help, could have helped grow my business um, in the beginning, and I've, I've mentioned this many times, my keywords research for my first 30 to 35 blog posts probably could have been a little bit better. That's why there is not the, um, not, not the hockey stick or the peak earlier, uh, quite honestly. Keyword research could have been better. Um, I probably could have written better. Um, I didn't, I didn't. Um, I, di I didn't address the competition accurately enough. And then this is all hindsight looking back 2020 as to why, um, why my, my blog posts or, or my, my website hasn't taken off. Um, also, and I've mentioned this in a few other videos, there is one or two websites that have written a ton of content on most of the keywords in, in this niche. And my competitive advantage is YouTube videos. So if I continue making YouTube videos in this niche, I could probably find a little bit more traction. And within those YouTube videos, I can send people back to my website or I can have them um, purchase or I, I can either send them to my website directly or I can send them to a landing page where I collect their email address and then I can do email marketing. There are a number of different options. Um, I, I think the next question someone would ask is, do I think this is this website has been a success? And honestly, I do. Um, this has been a success from the standpoint simply that I really didn't have any idea of how to start an online business. I didn't really know the steps that were required before stumbling across uh, Jimmy and Ricky's channel, Income Schools channel. Um, they really, they gave you the 60 steps. You can just mark them off, you know, check them off as you complete them. And it gives you a sense of accomplishment and it helps you get an idea of everything that's required to create a website. Since then, I've kind of branched out and done some other things with affiliate marketing and making money online, which have have, have yielded other levels of success. Um, I have just as a frame of reference, I've made money creating courses on Udemy. I've made money um, selling physical products online. I've sold new and used, and I've made money with affiliate marketing. So I have an idea of how to make money online. I just didn't know how to go about creating quality content for people to consume and be willing to return to again and again. Uh, so that's for my largest website. My next website has about 45 uh, page views and it has 10 YouTube videos. Uh, this site, when you compare it to the first one, relatively speaking, it's doing much better. It's in a much better place. This site, actually, I, I added my first blog post October 25th of 2018. And since then, as I've mentioned, I've added um, probably somewhere between 35 and 40. As you can see, my page views are 1905, unique views 1770, average time on page one minute and 59 seconds. Now, the interesting thing about this channel is it has X theme. It doesn't have the new uh, avocado theme that, that Jim and Ricky have applied or, or, or given to Project 24 users for free. Uh, this has the old X theme. Um, theme. So if we take a look at my, my traffic sources, organic leads away as it should or as you'd like it to see if you are looking to build an online business, um, direct, referral, and then social. And then on this one, Google organic leads away. Again, this is exactly what you'd like to see if you are trying to um, get found organic search. Now, if you're taking advantage of paid search, it doesn't matter. But if you're looking to make money organically, which is the uh, cheaper option over a longer period of time, 
um, it's the better it's better for you or the the the, the best way to, to make long-term success. Uh, followed by Direct, Facebook, Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo. And then for this one, the traffic source again, United States, Canada, United Kingdom, India. Uh, for this niche, this niche is actually much broader in nature when compared to the first one. So that could also explain the level of success that I have. Um, this niche again is much, much larger. It's used probably five times as much. Um, by many more people than the first one and those and those are things that you need to consider if you are looking to uh, Get into blogging or even creating content on YouTube. You have to think about your audience size your niche size um, The type of people that are going to be looking for this type of content. For example, if I Created a website or a niche about basket weaving that's going to be very very targeted um, and then if I went and niche down to underwater basket weaving you're looking at Maybe, let's say, conservatively speaking, you're looking at 5 million people worldwide. Out of those 5 million people, how many of those people are actually going to be looking for content or looking for help? Um, so those are all things that you need to think about if you are looking to get into blogging or YouTube videos, just making money online, your whole, um, your target audience. Uh, so let's take a look at, I like to call this site a travel site. And the reason why I call it a travel site is um, it's about my city, Kenosha. And this city is considered a tourist site in the summer. And so I actually created this site in July of 2018. Um, the idea or the theory behind it was to create this website to sell and market to local businesses. As I've mentioned a few different times in a few different videos, uh, because of our market, we're considered a suburb of Chicago. And because of that, um, our, our ads and, and everything's a little bit more expensive than cities of, of a similar size around the United States. And so one way to make some money on the side and help uh, local businesses was to create this website um, so so people could come to it and, and advertisers and I could make money with, with advertising local businesses. So you can see the traffic here. Uh, the traffic had been pretty consistent. There's probably between 10 and 20 blog posts total about uh, the city, City Kenosha. And as recently, it, it's probably leveled off. It looks like it hasn't gotten much higher than, um, we'll say, about 100 a hundred a month um, since since February. It's pretty pretty well leveled off. One thing that I could do, and I referenced this a few different times, is create a YouTube channel that is dedicated to Kenosha. Kenosha events. There's a lot of festivals. There's um, Catholic festivals every week in the summer. Um, different events that are going on in the summer, winter and so on. And one area of opportunity is that nobody else is doing that currently for the city of Kenosha. So if you're watching this, you're from Kenosha, that's an area of opportunity for you to make some money um, and so on. If we continue on, direct, organic, social, and then referral are the traffic methods. Uh, as you can see, Google Organic, um, LinkedIn. And one thing that I, I absolutely recommend if you are checking out this channel and, and this is your first video, use LinkedIn. Uh, most people don't talk about LinkedIn. Most people re will reference Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, and Pinterest. But use LinkedIn. LinkedIn can help you out tremendously. Most people assume that LinkedIn is for finding a job, when in reality, it's about your brand. It's about you. If you create YouTube videos or you create written content, it shows employers or potential employers that you have transferable skills. Sitting here in front of a camera and talking coherently, speaking coherently to millions or billions of people is a transferable skill. Putting together an ideas, putting together outline, um, analyzing, being analytical, doing a SWOT analysis, those are all marketing uh, ideas that can transfer to jobs or job opportunities. Um, written content, if you upload your blog post or a snippet of your blog post and tell people to, if they want to read more, click this link, that's showing that you are able to put thoughts on paper. You are able to formulate sentences. There's also like um, LinkedIn groups. There's all sorts of, of different ways that you can market and make money with LinkedIn that's 
pretty untapped. These are all business professionals. They usually have disposable income. People are always looking for the, the, their next hire. Use LinkedIn as a way to grow your business because everything that you're doing online, it's tracked anyway. People can find it. But it's it's displaying that you have transferable skills. If you have a team of people writing, you can show that you have managerial or management skills. Use LinkedIn if you are looking for a um, untapped way to grow your business because it's not just about finding your job. Finding a job is probably the smallest portion. Growing your business, growing your brand is, is probably more important. Next, we will take a look at where the traffic comes from. And I'm actually surprised, and, and I've said this a few different times, if it's outside the United States, it's probably someone trying to hack the site um, or just someone trying to um, ghostwrite or, or, or whatever. Um, I just kind of dismiss if it, if it comes from outside the United States. Even if it's outside of the Midwest, I kind of just chalk it up to someone trying to spam. So that is uh, that is Learn Kenosha. The uh, my smallest site, as you can see, it was started in January sometime. Um, it has less than 15 blog posts, but you can see the traffic is doing fairly well. Um, 1,353 page views, 1,131 unique views. Um, as you can see, a, a common theme is I don't necessarily create content for people to come back multiple times. That could be another issue, another thing to think about. Um, average time on page is 2 minutes and 47 seconds. When they do come, they stay long and they read. Uh, bounce rate, 88.73%, and an exit percent of 79.90. Now, the interesting thing about this, about this, this website is that it only has a logo. It doesn't have any images, and it just has text. I don't even have... Um, a featured image. I don't have any of that stuff. I think I just recently added affiliate links, but it is a very bare bones site. This site also uses uh, X theme, but the point, the reason I like to bring this up is small micro sites can work, uh, as you can see by this um, this graphic here. So let us take a look at my traffic. Again, I have those 10 or 15 blog posts. I haven't gone in and done anything else. Um, it's been completely hands off, hands free. And as you can see, organic search leads the way by a what three to three to one margin, and it is uh, Google Organic followed by Direct, uh, Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, Facebook, and so on. And then that's the same image. And then this is where the traffic comes from. Again, this makes sense for the top four. They're developed countries. They're looking to solve their problems by buying their way through it, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, that's how we make our, mom, our money online by providing a product or service. Um, I just want to spend a couple minutes talking about how I make money on these websites. I, affiliate marketing is primarily number one through Amazon. Uh, also, I have digital products, I believe, on three of the sites digital products. Um, also ad revenue from Google, um, except for my first site. I actually took I took Google ads off of AdSense off of that first site. There aren't any ads on that one, but there are ads on my other ones. So those are the three primary ways that I make money online. People have addressed me about writing, uh, being a guest writer or ghost writer um, through the, the contact us page. And I obviously, not obviously, but I have declined that. Uh, but those are the three primary ways that I make my money online. Uh, things that I can do for all of these sites is to continue to add content. Uh, content obviously is king. If I do better keyword research on all of my sites, I will only find more success. And the thing with keyword research is it can't be rushed. You get so excited about creating content and the allure of making a lot of money online, you kind of rush through keyword research. And if I had have done keyword research, better earlier, I'd find better and more success earlier. Um, I'm sure the final question that you'll ask me is, is Income School and Project 24 worth it? For me, it was worth it. This year has been an incredible experience. I have taken a lot of twists and turns and it, it has opened my mind and, and, and kind of cleared a direct path that I am taking. If you have check in, checked out this YouTube channel, you can see there are tons of videos. Um, one of the reasons why I, I actually got into affiliate marketing, creating videos about affiliate marketing is because there's a lot of um, lies, half truths, a lot of junk that's out there. And so what my goal is for this channel is to help people find success, get answers, get real answers and learn the whole truth. 
Um, if you watch a lot of these other channels, they, they give you maybe three of the steps or maybe they give you all eight of the steps, but they're, they're missing step four. They're giving you only half of step four. If you watch any of my videos, I basically give you the entire, um, entire pie. I'll give you, I give you everything with regard to, um, how to make money in that, that niche. Um, and so I just want to make sure that people have everything that I didn't have, everything that was missing in my mind. Uh, when when it came to YouTube videos, so definitely check out project 24 There is a link in the description if you haven't done so already also feel free to comment like subscribe if you haven't uh, Let me know if you are a project 24 member if you're not a project 24 men member what's preventing you from getting started with project 24 um, I think that when you look at the community when you look at the YouTube course the Pinterest course the 60 steps that they basically review and go over on their channel uh, the podcast, the free theme, the free theme is worth it by itself. If you paired the free theme with the, the 60 steps, it would be worth its money. But then they add in all of these other courses that help increase the value. And I've said this to them um, on their channel that everything that they're selling could be double. People are charging double and triple for what they're charging. Um, but yeah, if you haven't done so already, check out Project 24. Click the first link, or click the second link in the description to learn about Project 24. And if you are a member, I'll see you on the other side. If you're not a member, let me know what's preventing you from, from getting started. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.